Hey, this is Jesse Tula from BatchFrame.com, and welcome to this series of tutorials on the Pseudo Effects Suite. Now, the Pseudo Effects Suite is actually three different pieces of software. We have the Custom Controls Creator, the Pseudo Effect Builder, and the Pseudo Effect Installer. Now, if you still aren't sure what Pseudo Effects are, Pseudo Effects are a combination of presets and customized controls that show up in After Effects and look just like built in effects. However, they're actually just controllers that drive expressions that make different things happen depending on the preset within After Effects. And you can see over here we have a pseudo effect, and this one's called Simple Graphs. And you can see that right now it's just creating this simple pie chart. But if we open up these different groups, you can see all these custom controls that we've added that allow you to easily control the look of this chart. For instance, we can turn on the random colors option, and you can see that all of these colors are now changed to random colors. And we can change how the randomness works. We can change the number of slices by changing some of these values. For instance, if we change slice one down to 10% and change slice five up to 15, you can see that now we've added another slice to our pie chart. We can also add the border. We can change the width of the border. We can change the color of the border to anything we want. And if we hit the reset button, everything goes back to exactly the preset values that we had for this control. And everything over here can be completely customized. This is just a single example of the type of thing that you can create using pseudo effects and custom controls. Now, if you aren't a developer and you aren't interested in creating your own pseudo effects, you just wanna be able to install them, you can actually skip ahead to the last video in this series, which is on the pseudo effect installer, and you'll be able to see how easy it is to install pseudo effects onto your own system. So if all you wanna do is install the pseudo effects, just skip ahead to that last video. Now, if you are a developer or you are interested in creating your own pseudo effects, the following tutorials are gonna take you through from start to finish of creating these simple graphs pseudo effects. So let's get right into it. The first thing you wanna do when you're creating a pseudo effect is to plan out exactly the controls that you're gonna to need to make your preset happen. Now, I already know everything we're gonna need for the simple graph pseudo effect, but let me really quick take you through what this pseudo effect does. Now, the first parameter you can see is our graph type. We have a choice between three custom graph types, the pie graph, a bar graph, or a ring graph. We also have the option to calculate percentages. Now, what this does is you can see down here we have slice one, two, three, and four, all set to 25%. Now, if we change this amount down to 10%, you can see that now we have a hole inside of our graph. But if we come up here and we check the calculate percentages, it fills back in. So what that calculate percentages does is create a new total based on the total value set here. If that value is unchecked, then the total value of the ring is 100%, and we have to fill in those values ourselves with data that will match up and add up to 100%. So for instance, if we add up all these values here, we have a total of 85. So I have to add another 15 before we get to that 100% filled. Now you can see we have 10 possible slices, which means that we can have a total of 10 different pieces of data in our graph. We also have the ability to control all of their colors, either with selected colors, or we can come up here and choose the random colors button. Now we also have the random seed, which allows us to choose new random colors simply by typing in a different number for the random seed value. Now we also have a use border option, which gives us a border around each of our graphs. Right now we have the ring graph. You can see there's also a border around the bar graph and the pie graph, and everything is updating automatically without having to do barely any work with our control. You can change the border opacity as well as the blending mode. Everything is customizable. And the last option here is the gradient, and you can see that that just adds a nice little gradient to our graph. So this is what we're gonna be creating in the next tutorials. We have our plan for our control. So in the next tutorial, we're gonna get started with the custom controls creator, and I'll take you through how to use the software, and we'll get started creating our first control.